Hello everyone, in this video we're going to draw an eel. Start by drawing a circle as a guide for the front part of the body. To draw the circle, first make two small marks to indicate the circle's length, and then on the sides make two more small marks to indicate the circle's width. Then connect the marks using curved lines to finish the shape of the circle. Sketch lightly at first so that it's easy to erase if you make a mistake. Also, pause the video to draw at your own pace. The circle doesn't have to be perfect, but if you're having trouble drawing it, just trace the outer edge of a coin, a bottle cap, or anything else with a circular edge. To the left, draw another circle as a guide for the back portion of the body. Use the 4 marks method to draw this circle too. First make 4 small marks to indicate the sides of the circle, and then connect the marks using curved lines to finish the shape of the circle. Don't place the circles too close together or the body will be too short. On the right side, draw another circle as a guide for the head. Use the 4 marks method to draw this circle as well. This circle should be about two-thirds the size of the first circle. The edges of this circle and the first circle should touch. Inside the head circle, draw two intersecting lines. These are construction guides that will help you place the facial features later on. On the right side of the head, draw a curved line as a guide for the top jaw. This line should be similar to an arc on its side. Pay attention to the size and position of this arc in relation to the head. Below that, draw another arc as a guide for the bottom jaw. This arc should be a bit thinner. Connect the circles on the right using two short lines to create the guide for the neck. Connect the circles in the middle using two long lines to finish the middle section of the body. Curve these lines slightly. The middle section of the body should be wide. On the bottom left side, draw a couple of curved lines as guides for the tail. Curve the lines downward and then to the left. The line on the left should be longer than the line on the right. Connect the lines at the bottom so that they form a pointy tip. Now extend the tip of the shape to the right to create a long horizontal line for the rest of the tail. Pay attention to how far to the right this line goes. Above that, draw a long sloping line for the top edge of the tail. This shape should be wide on the left side and thin and pointy on the right side. And that's it for the guidelines. Now let's start on the final drawing. Inside the head, lightly sketch a small circle for the eye. Use the lines inside the head as guides to help you position the eye. When you get the size and position of the eye right, darken the shape. Inside the eye, draw a smaller circle for the pupil. Shade in the pupil. The eye should be close to the right edge of the head circle. Draw a curved line around the shape for the outer section of the eye. Draw a few small lines around the eye for texture on the skin. Use the arc on the right side as a guide to draw the top jaw. Darken the shape of the arc, but make the line wavier. At the bottom, extend the line to the left to create the mouth. The mouth should extend farther to the left than the vertical construction guide. 
On the right side of the arc, draw a couple of small shapes for the nostrils. Add a few more small lines for texture. Use the arc at the bottom as a guide to draw the lower jaw. Darken the path of the arc, but make the shape a bit thinner. Extend the top line so that it connects to the mouth. Darken the bottom edge of the circle to finish the shape of the lower jaw. Inside the shape, draw a sloping line for the open mouth. Lightly sketch another sloping line for the other side of the lower jaw. Now draw a series of small triangular shapes along the bottom edge of the mouth for the teeth. Make the teeth pointy at the top. Draw a sloping line to finish the inside of the mouth. Draw a series of short lines at the bottom for texture. Use the initial shapes and lines as guides to draw the rest of the head. Darken the top edges of the initial guides to create the top part of the head. The shape of the head should curve down above the eye. At the bottom, draw a sloping line for the bottom edge of the head. Darken the lower edges of the initial guidelines for the rest of the head. On the left side, draw a small oval for the gill. Draw a few short curved lines around the oval for the outer section of the gill. Draw a few short horizontal lines at the bottom for texture. Draw a couple of lines at the top too. Above the body, lightly sketch a long curved horizontal line for the top fin. Pay attention to how high this line is above the body. Curve the line downward on the left side. When you get the shape of the fin right, darken the line. Make the line wavy as you darken it. Follow the curvature of the body as you draw the fin. At the bottom, continue to draw the fin on the top part of the tail. This part of the fin should be closer to the top edge of the tail. Under the tail, lightly sketch another long curved line for the bottom fin. Draw the top part of this fin inside the shape of the tail. Draw the bottom part of the fin along the lower edge of the tail. When you get the shape right, darken the lines. The top left side of the fin should be made up of two curved lines. Now use the initial shapes and lines as guides to draw the rest of the body. Simply darken the outer edges of the guides to create the long shape of the body. Don't overlap the fin at the bottom as you darken the lower edges of the guides. Now erase the initial guidelines. The next few steps are sped up so that the video isn't too long. Don't worry about erasing all of the guidelines, it's okay if you leave some behind. Redraw any of the final lines that you may have accidentally erased. Now shade your drawing. 
Use a medium value throughout the entire body. Shade lightly at first and gradually build up to darker values. For light values, push down very lightly on your pencil, then push down harder for darker values. Use a slightly darker value to shade the fins. Add a darker value throughout the body to create some shadows. Shadows will give the figure more dimension and volume. Pick a light source as you shade so that the shadows are consistent throughout the body. Here the light source is coming from the top, so most of the shadows will be on the underside of the shapes. Don't worry about shading too smoothly. A rough value will give the skin some texture. Shading can be time consuming, so be patient and take breaks. It's a good idea to use reference as you shade for a more accurate depiction of an eel. Draw a few curved lines across the body for texture on the skin. Keep shading until you're happy with the result. And that's it for the eel. Don't forget to pause the video to draw at your own pace. Also please visit howtodrawanimals.com where every step of this tutorial is broken down into an individual image. That's how, and then the number 2, then drawanimals.com. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and a comment. Also subscribe for more videos in the future. Thank you for watching, and until next time, keep drawing.